Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Just looking out of the bungalow here. Seeing if I can make it down to the house over there without getting completely soaking wet. Yeah, wet conditions. Still going strong out here. Yeah, uh, sounds like I'm going to have to wait a minute to make a move. Here it comes. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Jungle soaking it up like a sponge still. That's good. Not much in the way of solar gain at the moment. And I'm going to have to move a few things around today to keep things running. Haven't seen great conditions the past few days. Probably not going to get great conditions today either. Although this could change in a minute, but I got some low batteries. So I'll just hunker down here for a minute. This should blow over enough to at least let me get down there dry <laughs> and I'm gonna need a couple of cables down there today to get by and I'm gonna have to deploy this top bowl 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter haven't used it in a while it worked pretty good the last time I did make sure I don't have to uh, Get different size cables. I think these will work. Yeah, good. Okay, that should do it. Make sure I get the positive as well. Okay. Enough of these to get the job done. And waiting for a lull to make my mad dash. <laughs> Should always leave an umbrella up here. All right, let's make a mad dash out of here. Ah. Well, everything's. Watch your step here. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. Huh. Didn't get too wet. So anyway, I gotta hook this up to where these. 200 amp hours worth of batteries sitting fully charged are in my trusty old testing inverter that I've used for years out here is on the blink. Well, now it acts like it wants to work, but it's been acting so uh, kind of goofy lately, cutting off without a very big load on it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch that out because I'm gonna I'm gonna need to be running something for a while with this. Alright, got those on. Alright, got it tied together and as you can see I've named this the Lanai batteries. Uh, they've been sitting in float day after day after day, which is what they are right now zero watts coming in off the solar right now but it's still in float so uh, once I draw it down a little bit those panels will open up a little bit got just a charging station hooked up to this inverter right now as you can see it says it's pulling 19 watts uh, it's reading the battery voltage at 13.2 so that's good, and I've got an extra outlet for what I really want this hooked up for. And here's the system I need to give a rest. This is what I'm running that five cubic foot freezer on. And yeah, it hasn't been great solar lately. You can see there it is, 32% and charging a little bit. That freezer doesn't run a lot on these darker days, but I don't want it dropping off overnight. So I'm going to 
let this rest up, get what it can for the next couple of days, and move uh, and start drying off of that lanai system on the freezer. And so you can see on the 48 volt down to 49 percent. Uh, this one holds up pretty strong currently running their 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer off of it. And back here on the the chins, what are we at today? 48 and gaining a little bit. This is normally the system I run that refrigerator freezer off of. Uh, I'll let that get up there as high as it can today and keep drawing off that 48 volt system. Yeah, just jockeying things around a little bit. I drained this system down the other day to where it actually cut off and it's, it's gaining a little bit. This is what I always keep as like a backup. Uh, and I ran that refrigerator freezer off of this a couple of days ago. Woke up one morning and it was out of power. So we're giving that a chance to boost back up too. And I'm just about to unplug that five cubic foot freezer. But as you can see right now, it's not drawing anything. I could probably, you know, get by overnight if we got a little bit better sunshine. Well, I know I could, even if we didn't get any more sun, I know that would get me till morning. But uh, since I got that full 200 amp hour battery bank out there on the lanai, we'll go ahead and uh, just unplug the freezer here and move it over to there. Okay, now I got it unplugged. So let's go ahead and just shut this inverter down and really let this go wild today. <laughs> I'd be lucky if it goes up to 40%, but we'll see. All right, it's still pulling 1918 watts, as you can see there. Uh, but when I plug this freezer in, the freezer, after it's been unplugged, usually has a, a pretty good surge. And this should be able to handle it, this 3000 watt inverter. So let's see what that jumps up to while I plug this in. <laughs> Sometimes it takes it a minute, but we'll take a peek at it in a minute when it starts running. The freezer itself only draws about, oh, 50, 60 watts, depending on how hot it is during the day. Got a kind of a cool day here today. It hasn't obviously kicked on yet, but uh, I'll try and catch it when it does. We'll see what it runs up to. I am actually glad to be using these batteries. I haven't really needed to. They've just been kind of sitting here ready. Uh, and now I need them. So yeah, 27 watts coming in off the panels now just to keep it going along at 13.5, which is the float voltage. So yeah, I'm pulling, you know, 18, 19 watts waiting for that freezer to kick on. And then hopefully those panels will even open up a little bit more, but it's pretty dark. But Anyway, mission accomplished there. Okay, it took it a few minutes for that freezer to kick on. You can see it's drawing 99 watts right now. Uh, that'll go down. Like I said, the normal cycle for that particular freezer is 50, 60 watts while it's running. So that's just the initial startup. Everything's looking good. And the battery voltage, 13.48, close to 13.5. It's trying to let in probably about as much power as it can right now. Uh, otherwise, I'd just jump up to 13.5. But it's pretty darn dark out there right now. But yeah, I got 200 amp hours ready to go there. That's two 100s uh, tied in parallel. So as these darker days continue i'll probably have to move things around a little bit to keep everything running but it's not that difficult today's been the most laborious project that i've had to undertake and that was only because that inverter was acting up and i really want to keep that freezer uh you know rock hard all the time frozen so interestingly enough uh this fan has not kicked on but the ambient temperature is 75 degrees right now so a little on the cooler side for here but you can see it's dropped 10 watts now. That'll continue to drop, and then as soon as that 
freezer says it's cold enough it'll go right back off so this ought to buy me some days when i initially you know reviewed this inverter uh, the the ambient temperature was much warmer and we heard the fan kick on it has not kicked on one time yet but yeah it's very very cool to the touch if it was a hotter day i would expect that thing to be running it actually used to run quite a bit on a hotter day but so far it's absolutely quiet so that's nice too and these two redotos really needed to go ahead and be worked out they've been sitting here for uh, months just kind of floating along is all i've just used very very light loads out here but we'll give them a workout over the next few days drain them down all right guys aloha everybody hope things are working well in your neck of the woods they're doing just fine here yeah i had to unplug a cord and plug it in somewhere else and spend about five minutes hooking up a new inverter okay but i'm going to call that work for the day so I've only got like a 130 watt panel hooked up to those two batteries and they're drawing a, a whopping 70 some watts right now. Still fighting to keep it at 13.5 so yeah that's a little more sun than I had a minute ago so yeah very good.